<laughs> Richie just lost his pole. You poor bastard. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's been a while since I made a one of these, so it's good to see you guys again. I'm here at the Cottonwood Creek Trailhead for Columbia Peak here just west of Buena Vista, Colorado. Up here with my buddy Richie. We know damn well that we can never make it to Columbia Law School, so we're gonna try to make our best effort at just climbing the mountain itself. This is gonna be our first 14 of the year. Mount Columbia is about 11.4 miles round trip with 4,100 feet of vert. And this is our first 14 of the year, like I was saying, so we're super pumped to get out, but just made it to the trailhead. The main road coming up here was a little bit of a bitch at first, but Ernie had no problems getting up. Just a little bit of scratches underneath, but he'll rub out. Now we're just gonna get our stuff ready at the car and start hiking up the road. We're the only ones at this trailhead and there's no snow in sight yet. Hopefully that stays that way right now. It is early May and hope we don't run into too many patches of snow on the way up there, but we're gonna see how it goes. Excited to get this one going for you guys. So let's stop talking, let's get hiking. Let's go! It's runnable until it's not. I like you. You go over. I'm short enough. It's one good thing about being a small person. Fit through small things. Let's keep going. Just saw Mama Moose with her baby. Just like I said in recent videos, if you're ever that close to a moose, especially one with their baby, make sure when you stick your thumb out all the way that they're behind your thumb. If you can actually see the moose around your thumb, you're too close. And right there, we were too close. I think eventually we're gonna have to put our spikes on and go from there. What an asshole! Let's get back at it. You're such a jokester. All right, so we're about three and a half miles into the hike right now. And the whole trail has actually been well marked, especially in the snow. We've just been following some footprints from snowshoers, moose, like you guys saw before, and uh, some other trail markers. But now we're getting to the point where the snow's getting a little deeper and it's getting a little, just a little harder to rut around it, but it's warm. So we lost a couple layers and we're just gonna keep continuing on this trail. But I don't know, as long as the snow doesn't get too deep, if we don't fall through it, I think we'll be all right. We still got a long way to go. <laughs> Richie just lost his pole. You poor bastard. All right, so while he's getting that, I'll just tell you guys right now. We went a little bit off trail, which this time of year, there's a lot of snowpack. It's kind of hard to find anything. And on this route, especially for Columbia, there's a lot of people that just say route finding on this peak is pretty tough. And we're finding that out today, especially in the winter season. We're gonna try to traverse across this peak behind us and get back on the main route. But doing so, we need to cross this entire like little gully field here and then take the rocks up and over and hope to God we jump back on the trail. But I mean, 
what's what's new? Hiking with this guy? If you actually make it one day on the whole route and have to do no route finding, it's not a hike. That's not a hike with Richie. But I mean, if you're gonna fall to your death, it's a pretty beautiful place to do it. feet from the summit and hopefully we're done scrambling and going through a bunch of snow fields but we're gonna switch into a couple warmer layers because the wind's starting to pick up up here views are gorgeous up here haven't been up here in so long especially in the Cleasia Peaks gonna try to bounce back on the trail the wind's picking up a little bit but nothing too bad it's gorgeous views today let's keep on going <laughs> After about under four hours of hiking with drenched socks, a lot of wind, a lot of false summits, we finally made it to the top of Mount Columbia. First 14er 2022, baby. After a couple months and not summoning a 14er and ski season being over, it's just nice to come back out here, shoulder season, and be able to come back up to these peaks again and know that there's a lot more to do here in 2022. It's awesome to come up with my boy Richie also. We always go off trail. I don't know what it is. We always go off trail whenever we do these hikes, but that just makes it a little more interesting, a little more fun. I want to say one more thing before I sign off. There's a little fan of mine, the number one fan I guess on YouTube back in Minnesota. Her name is Avery Grasser. And I just want to say hi to her, tell her I love her and miss her. And I can't wait to see her real soon. I just want to thank you guys so much again for watching. And hope to see you oot in a boot. We'll see you guys next time.